I'm Jeremy. And I'm Jody. And we're the BHS Broadcaster. Keeping you in the know. BHS Athletics have been very busy lately. Several teams have received awards and other teams have been doing service projects. We talked to some of the athletes involved to find out more. I'm Joseph Schrader. I've recently won uh, state tennis for the individual competition. And that means a lot to me because I have, I've been the runner up two years in a row before this year. So to finally get the W is great. Yeah, I'd just like to thank everybody that came out and watched the match and, and everyone that's been supporting us all season. I mean, it means a lot, like, knowing that there's people behind us and, like, cheering for us to win. Sunday, the girls' cross-country team, who had won state, went to the Grove Park Inn for a sports banquet. This event's been held for the past uh, 55 years, honoring teams all over Western North Carolina uh, for academic and athletic success. Yeah. Um, our girls cross country team was one of four finalists for the 1A, 2A female team of the year uh, in Olympic sport. We got to have a fun time with the team and we got a really big award and trophy and it was just awesome. The softball team did a Get Home for Homes fundraiser, and it was like a walk-a-thon, so for every run that we scored, someone would pledge an amount, and at the end of the season, uh, they would pay for how many runs we got. So this season, we scored 146 runs, and we ended up raising $3,900 for homes. And then at one of our playoff games, uh, the opposing team that we beat uh, pledged $100, so it made it an even 4,000, and it was a really fun experience and getting all the community members involved in our team. This week on Cooking Corner, they make cannoli dip. Our students are always doing some amazing things to represent our school. We talked to some of those students about their unique opportunities. During the White Squirrel Festival and Memorial Day Parade, the ROTC program will be marching through the middle of town in one company, which means that they're all going to be in one formation every single class, and I'll be standing next to them, marching them through the middle of town. We're doing this um, to get the ROTC program out there. And we're also doing this to honor the soldiers for Memorial Day. I was called back for a role in the upcoming musical called Chasing Rainbows, The Road to Oz. It's about Judy Garland's life. And I played a role called Deanna Durbin. She's a soprano. And I played her in the fall at the Flat Rock Playhouse. And the company is now moving the production to Connecticut this fall. And it'll run for three months. They counted me playing the role as my audition. So they called me up for a call back in New York City and I went and then recently they offered me the role. So I will go up to Connecticut and live there for this semester and play the role. Last Thursday, our top performing students were honored at the annual TC Scholars Banquet for being on track to graduate as TC Scholars. The event began with a dinner, followed by a ceremony where sophomores, juniors, and seniors from both Rosman and Brevard High School were honored for being on track TC Scholars. After all of the students were honored, the recipients of many local scholarships were recognized and received their awards. To finish out the night, graduating seniors got a chance to thank their most memorable educator by calling them to the stage and exchanging a gift. This was a great night of celebration and we would like to congratulate all of the students and teachers who were recognized at the event. It's Paige Todd and I'm illustrating a book this summer for one of my dad's supervisors. I'll be doing uh, several pages, uh, like probably 20 to 50 pages of illustration work. It's gonna be cartoon slash real, realistic, and I think they're gonna be characters. Hello, my name is Jacob Becker. I'm a junior, and um, two weeks ago, I think it was, I went to an MPA for a solo and ensemble, which is um, where you perform for a judge and you get an assessment back and feedback and stuff like that. It's all good. And um, 
it, you get a rating. I got an excellent, which is the the one below the best you can get. I went the seniors to Pisgah Forest Elementary, and they were dressed in their cap and gowns. And we went through and walked uh, through the halls of the elementary school with all the little kids sitting outside their classrooms, sitting very patiently. And then when the seniors walked in, they were cheering and giving them high fives and had signs for them and giving them hugs. And the teachers working there were, some of them were crying and giving a lot of hugs and pictures. And it was amazing to see. It was good to see the kids today and show them what they can accomplish and show them that their hard work will pay off one day. I love going back to our former elementary school. Where we spent six years of our life. And going back and walking through the hallways gives me like the confidence of I can do this and I can accomplish anything. Good job guys! For this week's Men on the Street, we asked students what they were most proud of this school year. The thing I'm most proud of this year is definitely getting my senior project completed and turning it in. I'm proud of what I did this school year, what I accomplished. I'm pretty proud of myself because I think I've worked really hard this year and put in more effort than any other year in high school. So. I'm not really sure what I'm most proud of. Probably being, probably being able to uh, Get through the masonry. Get through the masonry classes this year. Being DJ Bankshot because Casey came up with that name last year, and being with friends with Ari. Congratulations to Diana Body and Jessica Austin for winning the student body elections. We talked to some of the new officers about what they have planned for next year. Hi, my name is Diana Body, and I am the new student body president for the school year 2016 through 17. And I can't wait to represent each and every single student here at BHS and be a voice for everybody. Thank you. Hi, I'm Madison Graham. I'm the new senior class president. And next year, for our senior year, I plan on including everybody in our senior class trip and hopefully making it the best year and most memorable year. This week, we learned about our new club, SAD. Students motivated the change to all destructive decisions. I think SAD's a good opportunity for like student leaders like within our school to help other students and ourselves you know, come together and not you know, make destructive decisions. You know, that's important to our future. And um, I think it'll make students think about their choices. I think it'll give students an opportunity to develop their leadership skills. I feel like it'll make people think twice before they decide to do something destructive. Now here's Katie for this week's general announcements. On May 27th, we will be having Spring Fun Day, Yearbook Day, and our Powder Puff Game. Also, be sure to check out Quim Bab. For more ways to follow Quim Bab, peep the snap code. This summer, there will be two sessions of Drivers Ed offered. The first session will be at Rosman High School, and it will be from June 13th to the 17th. And the second session will be at Brevard High, and will run from June 20th to the 24th. Classes will begin at 8 a.m. and run until 2 p.m. And each day, a student should bring a pencil, paper, and a bag lunch to eat. For more information on these stories and others, make sure to visit the BHS Broadcaster website. And follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you See next, next week. week.